Hey YouTube and welcome to the We All Juggle Knives channel. We've got some blades from Condor Tool and Knife and we're gonna hack some stuff up today. See these blades in action. All right, let me get my pointer here. Estwin Carpenter's hatchet. We've got the Moon Stalker, the Moon Shiner, the Echo Parang, and the Tomahawk Axe. Now we're gonna, uh, we're gonna do a pallet breakdown now, usually if you had to break down a pallet, or anything resembling a pallet, like let's say you had an old shed that you had to just chop up and, and throw in the garbage, most of my subscribers would use something like this, your good old carpenter's hatchet. It's heavy, it's very top heavy, very thick, and the geometry is very broad, which will just uh, split the wood apart. So why would you use a knife to do something uh, that you would use something like this for, considering the knife is not as heavy, it is not as top heavy, and the geometry is different. Well, this is a better tool for that job, but when you use, when something like this can do the job of something like this, what you're showing is that this can punch above its weight class. This is like a, a lightweight fighter that can punch like a heavyweight, okay? That's, so that's what you're trying to show. And also, my job is to show blades in action. It's not to tell you how to break a pallet. This is not a tutorial on pallet breaking, so I'm not going to apologize for showing the blades uh, actually doing something. Far from it. This is my Estwing Riggers axe, rig builder's hatchet. It's actually even bigger and heavier. Would be great for breaking down a pallet. Now when you compare it to this Echo Parang, again, this is far heavier, it's far more top heavy, and the geometry is different. Alright, so, you know, I don't expect this to break something down as well as this would. But considering that this is much lighter and thinner, if this can do that job reasonably, if this can do what this does reasonably well, we can say that this thing punches above its weight class. Alright, so once again, absolutely zero apology for showing blades in action. Let's check out this footage and then we will come back and we'll talk about how each of these new condors did. The Echo Parang did quite well for its light weight. It did very well. The edge on this is really very good. I could tell when I was chopping, that edge just sunk in very deep. All right, so uh, it did well. The handle shape allowed maximum 
application of force and basically it can punch way above its weight class. And yes, I realize the Parang is not a hatchet. It's not a hatchet replacement. It's a jungle tool, but I don't live in a jungle and most of my subscribers are in North America and Europe. Okay, so they're gonna use it as a woods tool. Not necessarily a jungle tool, but I know it began as a jungle tool. Look, me chopping up a pallet is not preventing you from taking a trip to a jungle. That's on you, bro. But yeah, it did really well, very happy with it. And this is so lightweight, it wouldn't weigh you down at all, uh, whether jungle, woods, or wherever you go. Okay, the Moonstalker and the Moonshiner did extremely well, in my opinion. Uh, the Moonstalker, it did a lot of chopping, right, before, before it started smashing and cracking it. It actually did a lot of pure chopping. It has a good edge, you know, it bit into the wood very well. These might look similar except for the finish. Not so. The Stalker is actually significantly heavier. Significantly heavier than the Shiner. Now I did add this grip just because the wood scales are smooth. So I did add this grip and I added lanyards just for this demo. All right. Now because this is lighter, I was actually swinging it, chopping harder with it. Yeah, and this actually ended up cracking some of the boards. Not a disaster, that's just because, you know, I was chopping quite hard and the force has to go somewhere. But basically, these did really well. The edge is good. The edge was not, suffered no significant damage. And overall, felt very good in the hand. A lot of power. Oh, and you might be wondering, what happened right there. Yeah, that was my bad. That's not the fault of the knife. Uh, you know, my stuff is real sharp and I had a whole bunch of, you know, I was doing stuff with a whole bunch of different blades and basically one of my other blades, I accidentally just brushed it against this one. You know, it was just leaning up against something. Just accidentally brushed it against that and uh, a real sharp heavy blade just uh, sliced right through. Okay, so now I have a little, <laughs> a little bit of a thumb rest right there. Okay, I did save the worst for last. Uh, you know, I'm definitely not trying to be negative at all. I'm a big fan of Condor's products. I've reviewed like freaking 20 of them and I bought all these with my own money. All right. But this did, it, this did not do so well. If you go back and look at the chopping with this, I was surprised. It didn't bite in too well got a little bounce. It just wasn't that destructive uh, to, the, to the wood. Now this is sold as a tactical tool. Oop, sorry about the dog. Neighbor's dog. This is a tactical tool. So I could understand that it's not meant as a wood chopper, but at the same time I want my tactical tools to be able to go through basically a shack. And you know a shack is just a bunch of boards nailed together, not unlike a pallet. And in places that our military goes, you know, Somalia, um, just third world cities, half the city is basically shacks, okay? So if you, you have a tactical tool, you need to be able to hack through a shack. So, yeah, I would have wanted it to be more destructive to the pallet. You know, I think it was because of the edge. It's kind of a broad edge, which should actually smash the crap out of boards, but what a broad edge needs is weight behind it. And this is just, it's fairly thin. It, it's just not, it's just not that top heavy. Okay, so it doesn't have the mass behind it to necessarily take full advantage of that broad edge geometry. So if you're gonna go thin like this, you might wanna thin out the edge so that instead of uh, smashing through, you're, you're gonna be able to chop through because it's just, it's not very heavy. Now, I realize that, you know, they make it lightweight so that a soldier can actually carry it with his stuff. Yeah, I understand that. There's always trade-offs. I'm just telling you my, my observations from having chopped with it. All right, so I think the solution, for me anyway, is going to be the th to thin out that edge. All right, and like I said, I really like Condor products. But, I, I mean, I'm trying to give it an honest review and cover all aspects. All right, nice view here. So in conclusion, well... Which one of these would I most recommend if you're trying to decide between just one? Definitely the Moonstalker. That's my favorite one of these. 
uh, just the weight, the heft, the quality of the handle scales, uh, the nice edge, all first rate. Like I said, it's a bit heavier than the Shiner. I like that. I like that heft. I think it's um, more useful in this uh, size range of knife. So yes, uh, the Echo Parang, another great Parang. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. It's been We All Juggle Knives. I'm out.